All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a severe weather outbreak that's gonna be going on throughout the day tomorrow for portions of the Midwest. Uh, states like Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri are gonna be the most impacted. Now, before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, for today's question of the day, I wanna know, what is your favorite genre of music? And whichever one is my favorite, I'll be picking the first person to comment my favorite for tomorrow's video. All right, let's get right into things. So first things first, we're looking at our categorical outlook here for our severe weather for day two, which is gonna to be tomorrow, Saturday the 28th. And as you can see, we have red in there, and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second, but our light green area, which takes up most, a, a, a very large portion of the United States, actually, especially the Eastern United States, that's our general thunderstorm region. Now for our darker green region, that's what we call our marginal risk. And we see some pretty sporadic severe weather in there, just kind of scattered around a little bit, but sometimes we don't even see any severe weather for the marginal risk, but still I would be a little bit on the cautious side and just watch the radar and pay attention to warnings. In the yellow region, that's our slight risk and slight isn't very slight. We saw our Nashville tornado in a slight risk. So just be on the lookout. Severe weather could be uh, throughout some of the regions there. And then we see our orange region. That's our enhanced risk, and that's where we start to see a lot more widespread severe weather. And then our red area is a moderate risk for severe weather there for portions in northern Illinois. And this is actually only our second moderate risk for severe weather we've seen all year. So this is a very, very uh, unique and very rare type of severe weather event. So be on the lookout. We're going to have a lot of severe weather in that red region. I will be going live tomorrow as well. So be on the lookout for that at some point during around noontime into the afternoon, maybe early evening. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I'm also going to be making an update video tomorrow morning, a very short update video for the latest on the severe weather risk. Now we're about to move on and we're going to look at the individual risks. We're going to look at tornado, hail, and wind probabilities. All right, so here first off is our wind risk. So we're gonna be seeing in that brown area a 5% chance within 25 miles of a given location. And then within our yellow region, that's where we have 15% chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a given location. This is pretty slight risk for, for uh, damaging wind. So what I'm expecting is that we're not really gonna see too much damaging wind tomorrow. As we move on to hail, you can see this is a much more um, moderate to enhanced looking risk. This is only about enhanced for that red region in the hatched area means they're expecting potential for large hail. They actually worded it large to giant hail in their written out forecast for the severe weather tomorrow. So that's pretty concerning for me to hear. I've, I've hardly heard them use wording like that. So, I mean, that's pretty concerning. Anyway, in our green area, 5% chance. In the yellow area, 15% chance. And in the red area, we have 30% chance of hail uh, within that region. Again, the hatched area, meaning large hail. Uh, and that's only an enhanced risk for hail. So let's get into the tornado risk. And we have a moderate risk for tornadoes. So that means our moderate risk is mostly for tornadoes. We're expecting large long-lived supercells tomorrow. It's definitely going to be an action-packed day to go live. And I'm going to be live with you guys throughout the day tomorrow. So within our green area there, we have 2% chance of tornadoes within 25 miles of a given location. Within the brown area, we have 5% chance. Within the yellow area, we have 10% chance. And then within that red area, we have 15% chance of tornadoes. And you can see that takes up our moderate area. So that is a moderate risk for tornadoes. The hatched area indicates an area where they expect a good chance for EF2 to EF5 tornadoes to be possible. So we're going to be on the lookout for damaging large tornadoes tomorrow. All right, now let's go ahead and move on. We're going to look at today's risk, actually, for severe weather very briefly. And then we're going to go ahead and start looking at our simulated radar. All right, so first things first, I just wanted to briefly show you guys our risk for today. We have a yellow area. We only have a slight risk today. And again, the green area, the, the darker green area is a marginal risk. And then our general thunderstorm risk is for that lighter green area. I just wanted to show that just in case anybody was wondering about the severe weather today. Now, let's go ahead and look at our cape. This is actually going to be by tonight, which is Friday, March 27th, maybe... I would say at about 6 p.m. and we see a lot of Cape already building in for Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois. Now Cape is a combination of our uh, humidity and also our temperature and usually in these pinkish purple colors that's where we're seeing high chance for severe weather. Obviously that orangish shade is 2,000 to 4,000 Cape. That's where we have the highest chance for thunderstorm development. Let's go ahead and look at the actual temperature by 6 p.m. tonight too and we're going to have widespread 70s but just to the north 40s so we have a strong cutoff on the temperatures which is another thing that looks very concerning. 
Here's our simulated radar by tonight, though. So you can see there's no thunderstorms hardly. We have see a couple spread around. Uh, so our cape is going to really start to just continue to build because there's no thunderstorms developing yet that are going to eat up that cape. Now let's move towards about 12 a.m. starting out Saturday, March 28th, and we can see a lot of those purples, pinks, and oranges building in more and more and more for a lot of these regions. And we do see th some thunderstorms developing early, early, early tomorrow morning. Now we're about to move on towards 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we're going to start to see the thunderstorms really build in. That's actually going to lead to our severe weather tomorrow. All right, so here's our Cape by the time we're at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And you can see Missouri is just filled up with those orangish shades. Same story with very western regions of Illinois there. So this is where we're going to really start to see our severe thunderstorms building in. I think Missouri, Iowa, and uh, as well as areas in Illinois are going to be our kind of highlight region where we're going to see the most chance for severe weather. The actual temperatures by 8 a.m. are already going to be in the 60s and 70s there for southern Illinois and southern Missouri. We can see northern Illinois and northern Missouri are in the 40s and 50s. We're still going to have severe weather, rest assured. Uh, we're seeing thunderstorms already building in in the northern regions of the states here. By this point, we can see lots of thunderstorms already around for 8 a.m., Let's move towards about 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 28th, and you can see we have a lot of those oranges moving up into northern Missouri and northern Illinois as well as southern Iowa, and that's going to be kind of our enhanced to moderate region. Our actual temperatures are going to be kind of building up. We're going to see mid-50s for the northern regions of those states with, with for the central regions, more 70s, so we're really going to start to see a really strong cutoff of those temperatures. Here's our radar, and you can see the, that line of thunderstorms that's kind of on a vertical axis there for Iowa and down through Missouri. That's going to be our severe thunderstorms and our supercells that are building in by about 2 p.m. Uh, and then, as you can see, by time, I would say this is at maybe approximately about 5 p.m. We can see a lot of those thunderstorms along that line have moved eastward first off, but they're looking a lot stronger for eastern Iowa, eastern Missouri, and then very, very western Illinois. That's all supercells along that storm. We're going to have a lot of storms to track and possibly a lot of tornadoes to track as well, unfortunately. Now, we're about to move on and just watch these storms as they continue to move eastward through into Illinois. We're going to track these, give you guys an hour-by-hour -hour look, and then we will finally get into our comment of the day at the end of the video. All right, and this one's maybe going to be by about 7 p.m., and you can see that for Wisconsin, we might even be dealing with a little bit of severe thunderstorms. And now, mostly for Illinois, um, more of the central regions of Illinois, they're starting to see those supercell-type storms. Uh, and these are going to be long-lived and potentially, again, bringing damaging tornadoes. These are very strong supercells, large hail, large to massive hail, or I forget how they worded it, but yeah, very, very strong uh, words from them, uh, according to them, about the hail. So we could be seeing some very, very huge hail uh, for a lot of these regions. And also, we can see St. Louis by this point is also seeing some pretty strong thunderstorms here. Let's go ahead and take it all the way to about, mm, I would say this is maybe about 10 p.m. on Saturday, March 28th. And we can see they've reached kind of the eastern regions of Illinois, but by this point, they're not going to be quite as severe. I'm not going to go ahead and say that they aren't going to be severe, but I think they will be a little bit less severe by this point. We're going to have way less cape. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, and also, we're going to see the temperatures dropping. So this is going to be the very tail end of these storms by the time they're reaching into eastern Illinois, I believe. Uh, we see they reach Indiana by about 12 a.m. They're in central Illinois or central Indiana, and also we see portions of Kentucky and Tennessee, also Michigan. We're going to want to be on the lookout for these, even though they're not going to be quite as severe. It is going to be nighttime by this point, and those can be very dangerous, especially since they're in the form of supercells. We're going to be wanting to watch for tornadoes. So if you're in eastern Illinois, in anywhere in Indiana, um, Michigan, Kentucky, Tennessee, have your weather radios handy. I think that we could be getting a lot of tornado warnings overnight, a lot of dangerous tornado warnings overnight uh, that could lead to very dangerous situations. Here's our cape by that point at 12 a.m. on starting out Sunday, March 29th. We can see still 1,000 to 2,000 amounts in those magenta colors, so still enough to develop new severe weather. So it's going to be a big day and big night throughout the night. Anyway, for your comment of the day, I asked you guys, what is your favorite nationality of food? And I wanted to pick one that was kind of unique. Richard Lay said Cajun food. Love the blending of flavors, but especially love the heat. It has been forever since I've had some good Cajun food. Uh, I love shrimp. I love all of that stuff. So I'm going to need to get some soon. 
uh, that just reminded me. So yeah, I absolutely love Cajun food. And let me know if you guys have had a lot of Cajun food. I know it's not like a super popular one that they have everywhere, but let me know what you think of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.